In national news, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Russia's leader Vladimir Putin on his inauguration for a new presidential term. His Majesty congratulated the Russian president and wished him success in performing his duties. He praised the bilateral strategic relations and affirmed keenness to continue working with the president and further enhance bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, on his inauguration for a new presidential term. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing Executive Director of IISS Middle East, Lieutenant General uh, Retired Sir Thomas Beckett at Kudabiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness was instructed to introduce to Air Marshal Retired Martin Sampson, the newly appointed Executive Director of IISS Middle East. His Royal Highness said that regional and global developments highlight the importance of initiatives aimed at strengthening international partnerships in addressing global challenges to strengthen the foundation of global security and peace. He commended the efforts of Sir Beckett throughout his tenure and congratulated his successor, wishing him success in his new post. His Royal Highness commended Bahrain's long cooperation with the IISS and the ongoing efforts to organize the Manama Dialogue over the past 19 years in particular, which has grown into an important and reputable regional and international forum. He underscored the pivotal role of the IISS in providing the necessary elements to support strategies that enhance regional and global security and stability. And for their part, Sir Beckett and Sir Samson expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness' unwavering commitment to strengthening cooperation between Bahrain and IISS, as well as his continued support of the Manama Dialogue since its inception. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki attended the meeting. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the final game of the West Asia Super League for the Gulf region. The game was between Manama SC and Kuwait Sporting Club SC, where Kuwait SC defeated Manama SC 99-92. His Highness Sheikh Khaled praised Manama SC for qualifying for the league and commended the team's performance in the game, which reflects its development in a regional level. He lauded the players' efforts, the role of the technical and administrative staff, and the support of the fans. His Highness congratulated Kuwait Sporting Club SC on their win, wishing them further success.
Uh, the Speaker of the Representative Council, Ahmed al said that the Bahraini national press is an influential pillar and a shining beacon of work, giving and professionalism as it exercises its role and responsibility with all honesty, objectivity and freedom of opinion and expression. On the occasion of the Bahraini Press Day, the speaker said that the Bahraini press always takes into account the country's highest national interest, the needs of society and the aspirations of citizens. He praised the continued support for the press and media in Bahrain from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister. He pointed out that the allocation of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism represents the distinguished appreciation for the efforts of journalists in Bahrain. He expressed appreciation for the prominent national role played by the Ministry of Information, the Bahraini Journalists Association, national press institutions and all workers in the press and media sector. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, praised the national media efforts made by local media newspapers in order to highlight the legislative achievements and support the emerging democratic process in Bahrain. He stressed that the support of His Majesty the King leads to progress and development in the media and journalism system in Bahrain. He appreciated the keenness of local newspapers and media outlets in assuming their national responsibilities, which received the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. The chairman congratulated the editors-in-chief of local newspapers and the president of the Bahraini Journalists Association on the occasion of Bahraini Press Day, noting their continued efforts to advance journalistic and media work and enhance freedom of opinion and expression in Bahrain. He also appreciated the keenness of the Bahraini press to address various societal and national issues and topics and its interest in providing specialized and objective opinions in all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa delegated the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to attend the celebration held at the GCC Commercial Arbitration Center on the occasion of the 30th anniversary of its establishment in Bahrain. The Deputy Premier affirmed that Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King and with a follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, takes pride in hosting the GCC Commercial Arbitration Centre as it is an independent regional judicial arbitration bureau that achieves the visions of the GCC leaders and reflects Bahrain's support to joint Gulf action. He said Bahrain has given considerable attention to the cooperation between GCC countries in the field of commercial arbitration, which contributed to enhancing the judicial system and developing commercial laws, attracting quality investments for the comprehensive legal coverage it provides. The Deputy Prime Minister hailed the Centre's reputation as a leading arbitration body as a result of its specialised national cadres, which facilitated and expedited arbitration procedures in record time. The Assistant Secretary General for Economic and Development Affairs at the GCC General Secretariat, Khaled Al Sunaidi, said that Bahrain's hosting of the center proves its commitment to enhancing commercial justice, facilitating businesses, and attracting foreign investment to the region. Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah launched the center's new website, which constitutes the first electronic arbitration platform of its kind in the region. Then, he honored the center's sponsors and strategic partners.
As part of his Arab tour, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Ben Rashid Nuzayani, held a meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation and Moroccans Abroad, Nasser Burita, in Morocco. The close historical fraternal relations between the two countries and their brotherly peoples were discussed and ways to develop cooperation within the framework of the efforts of their joint supreme ministerial committees and to follow up on the implementation of the agreements and memoranda of understanding for joint cooperation concluded between the two countries. They also discussed regional developments and their repercussions on security and stability in the region, developments in the tragic situation in the Gaza Strip and regional and international efforts aimed at stopping the war in the Strip, protecting civilians and delivering humanitarian aid to them in addition to regional efforts aimed at stopping the Israeli escalation in Rafah. The two sides discussed the preparations for the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain on May 16th, the summit's work program and the agenda's topics. The chairman of the Presidential Council of Libya, President Mohamed Al Menfi, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Ben Rashid Al Zayani, as part of the Minister's Arab tour. The President welcomed the Minister and instructed him to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister and his wishes of further progress for Bahrain and its people. He praised the Kingdom's hosting of the 33rd Arab Summit, hosted by His Majesty the King, wishing its success in enhancing joint Arab cooperation and achieving security, stability and prosperity in the region. The Minister expressed happiness at visiting Libya and conveyed to the President the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and their wishes of further progress to Libya and its people. He praised the level of bilateral cooperation and the development witnessed in various fields. The minister briefed the president on the preparations for holding the Arab summit and the agenda's program and topics. The Prime Minister and Foreign Minister designate of Libya, Abdul Hamid Al Dabaiba, also received the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And during the meeting, the strong fraternal relations between the two countries were discussed and ways to develop cooperation in various fields where it was agreed to activate the role of the Joint Supreme Ministerial Committee between both countries and advance the path of cooperation in various fields of common interest. Dr. Zayani briefed the Prime Minister on the ongoing preparations for the 30 Third Arab Summit and the agenda's program and topics. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King, the Bahrain Free Labour Unions Federation held a ceremony marking Labour Day in the presence of the Minister of Labour, Jamil Hamidan, to honour outstanding workers and establishments in the civil sector. The Minister delivered a speech in which he conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. He said that His Majesty's comprehensive development process boasts leading initiatives that established Bahrain's status among advanced countries in many sectors. He expressed appreciation for His Majesty the King's pardon of convicts on the occasion of their silver jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne. He stated that all relevant government authorities are exerting efforts to implement the directives of His Majesty to provide the pardoned with unemployment insurance, training programs and job opportunities. He also thanked the partners in the private sector for their role in supporting procedures and achieving goals. And he thanked His Majesty the King for patronizing the ceremony and for his support to Bahraini workers. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates Bahrain Press Day, which falls on the 7th of May of each year, in recognition of the role of the national media and press, as this day is an occasion to renew appreciation and pride in the contributions of Bahraini journalists and media professionals and their dedication to defending the interests of the Kingdom and highlighting its development and progress with complete freedom and transparency. 
In remarks marking Bahraini Press Day, the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan Ben Abdullah Al Nuaimi, said that Bahraini journalism has committed to its national duty of contributing to its society's development. He said Bahraini journalism had witnessed significant progress and strengthened its role as a key actor throughout the comprehensive development process, supported by His Majesty the King with the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister. Dr. Nuaimi congratulated journalists and media professionals on the occasion, expressing appreciation for their efforts in adhering to the professional values of journalism, which serves as a tool for establishing awareness in society and highlighting national achievements on local and international levels. He also said that Bahraini Press Day is an opportunity to thank and appreciate Bahraini journalists and media professionals for their dedication in presenting forward-thinking ideas and ones that address the dynamics of development and the requirements of the future. The minister expressed Bahrain's pride in its constitutional and legal framework that fosters an environment of responsible freedom. He said that this provided the press and media sector with the tools needed to carry out its important national role in implementation of His Majesty's vision, as His Majesty expresses appreciation to press and media professionals for their noble message of spreading awareness and knowledge. The minister said that this year's Bahraini Press Day celebration coincides with Manama being selected as the capital of Arab Media 2024 by the Council of Arab Information Ministers, representing the accomplishments of the press and media in Bahrain on a regional scale. He commended the efforts of the Bahrain Journalists Association in addressing the interests of the press and media community, spearheading initiatives for capacity building and embracing technological advancements. He expressed hope that journalists and media professionals continue their efforts to raise Bahrain's status in various events. The prosperous heir of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa witnessed a renaissance of the journalistic and media sector as the Bahraini press received the support of His Majesty, which enabled it to make many achievements. More in this report. Promoting free and responsible speech and adhering to the professional values of journalism is what characterizes media and journalistic institutions in Bahrain, who are partners and successes by shedding light on the national achievements in various fields at the local and international levels. The Bahraini Press Day is a day of pride, where media and press figures work to create a clear impact on the various stages of the national action process. The Bahraini press and media work as a whole is built on solid legacy of the first pioneers in this field, who formed the basis building blocks upon which it was built and modernized year after year until the prosperous era of His Majesty the King came to constitute a new and strong impetus for journalistic and media work. This year's celebration coincides with the celebration of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King, and during the prosperous era of His Majesty, the Bahraini press and media witnessed support and development at all levels, which was clearly evident in the prestigious level that the Bahraini press has reached in serving the interests and advancement of Bahrain. His Majesty the King always expressed his gratitude and appreciation for the national press, which carries out its noble mission in serving the nation with all competence and its firm commitment to the honor of the journalistic profession and its adherence to honesty of speech and objectivity within a framework of responsibility that supports the nation's efforts on the path of development. For the sake of Bahrain and to achieve the visions of His Majesty the King, all press and media institutions will continue their national role in the spirit of Team Bahrain to be a mirror that reflects the nation's achievements regionally and internationally. The head of the Bahraini Journalists Association, Isa Al Shaiji, affirmed that the Bahraini press will move forward with all professionalism, objectivity, and honesty in performing its national and journalistic mission under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He praised the atmosphere of freedom provided by the reform and democratic approach of His Majesty and the advanced laws and legislation established that guarantee freedom of opinion and expression, which enable the national press to perform its duties to the highest levels of professionalism and to be an expressive voice for the aspirations of citizens. The government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, continues its support for the journalism sector in its national cadres with the aim of spreading its message aimed at enhancing the successes of Bahrain in all fields. More in this report. 
Celebrating Bahraini Press Day has become a subject of great appreciation among society due to its important role in conveying messages with all credibility and professionalism and its contribution to defending the nation and its achievements. The national press receives special attention from the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as this has been clearly reflected in the development of the journalistic sector, pushing the Kingdom of Bahrain forward towards achieving its goals, aimed at promoting the concepts of sustainable development and achieving a more diversified and prosperous economy, in addition to spreading the Kingdom's messages aimed at achieving peace. One of the most prominent contributions of the government is the sustainability of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism, which was launched in 2016 to enhance local journalism and support the successes of various paths of growth and development across all national fields. The Cabinet's praise of the message sent by His Majesty the King on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day emphasizes the importance of the press and national media and supports national cadres and press and media institutions to continue paying attention to all vital issues. On this day, the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates the national press and praises the development of the press. Meanwhile, the Bahraini press is considered an important source for publishing the most important national achievements in various political, social, economic and cultural fields, which reflects the development of this field in the Kingdom. More details. A modern democratic environment and an advanced constitutional and legal system have contributed to the development of Bahraini journalistic work to become an effective tool supporting the comprehensive development in the Kingdom of Bahrain and an important tributary to strengthening the gains and the democratic process in the country. The Bahraini press carries an important mission and follows an honest approach that confirms the commitment to transparency as a tool for enhancing various fields by conveying cultural and urban development and highlighting national achievements. The advanced Bahraini press constitutes a civilizational indication of continuous and lasting support for the press. This support confirms its vital role as a partner in preserving the nation's identity and ancient culture and promoting its sustainable development and democratic achievements. The Bahraini press included several important aspects to be an effective and influential tool and was able to consolidate intellectual pluralism through its topics. It also contributed to enhancing public participation through its various channels, which enabled it to be the link between the concerned parties and members of society with all transparency and clarity. Freedom, fairness and objectivity is what characterized the Bahraini press, which follows global developments in this field in line with professional conventions and supports the future plans of the Kingdom of Bahrain. For their part, the journalists praised Bahrain's continuous support for the national press, which contributed to its high status and the media's addressing of issues of topics of concern to public opinion. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates Bahraini Press Day during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Journalists participated in the celebration with articles that shed light on the remarkable progress and development witnessed by the Bahraini press, in light of the freedoms they enjoy and contributed to raising its status. The journalists also highlighted the interest that the Bahraini press enjoys, which has contributed to the development of journalistic work at various technical, administrative and cultural levels, so that the Bahraini press has become a model of progress and success and its effective contribution to covering events and activities inside and outside the kingdom. Bahraini journalistic and media competencies have effectively developed the journalistic work system in a manner that contributes to the advancement of the journalism profession, keeping pace with the latest technological developments and continuing its noble mission towards its audience and followers. Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced that Bahrain has achieved an exceptional accomplishment by securing two coveted awards at the 31st World Travel Awards Ceremony. Bahrain has been named the Middle East Leading Wedding Destination 2024 Award in recognition of its emerging position as a preferred regional destination for large-scale weddings. 
this remarkable victory underscores Bahrain's outstanding tourism landmark and readiness to host spectacular grand celebrations. In addition, Exhibition World Bahrain won the Middle East leading large scale wedding venue 2024 award, scooping the regional award over four competitors, which highlights Exhibition World Bahrain's outstanding achievement in securing the highest number of votes among prestigious venues. The CEO of BTEA, Sarah Abuheji, said that receiving these awards represent an international acknowledgement of Bahrain's emerging status as a favoured destination for luxurious weddings and celebrations. During a panel discussion at the Arabian Travel Market 2024 in Dubai, the CEO of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Isara Abu Heji, emphasized Bahrain's commitment to fostering seamless integration of tourism across Arab Gulf nations. She underscored the pivotal role such integration plays in accelerating tourism sector growth and enhancing its contributions to economic, social, cultural, and civilizational progress across the region. Boheji noted that highlighting the collective commitment among agreement parties to enhance tourism sector revenues is imperative to advocate for broader dissemination of these agreements across the Gulf region. She emphasized the necessity of initiating further Gulf tourism endeavors, noting that this year marks the celebration of Manama's designation as the capital of Gulf tourism. Boheji pointed to Bahrain's ever-evolving tourism infrastructure, which further solidifies Bahrain's appeal for tourism investment. She underscores Bahrain's support for all tourism and hospitality businesses, including innovative SMEs that embrace the latest digital trends in the industry. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority participated in the four-day Arabian Travel Market 2024 at the Dubai World Trade Center. And during the event, BTEA showcased a selection of Bahrain's most prominent tourist attractions, emphasizing the unique blend of cultural heritage and modernity that Bahrain offers. The CEO of BTEA, Sarah Boheji, expressed her enthusiasm for participating in this year's Arabian Travel Market, highlighting its significance in promoting Bahrain as a premier tourism destination and emphasizing the opportunity to engage directly with key markets outlined in Bahrain Tourism Strategy 2022 to 2026. Under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 13th edition of the Bahrain National Robotics Competition is held under the slogan Allies of the Earth, organized by the British Education in cooperation with the Ministry of Education. More in this report. The 13th edition of Bahrain National Robotics Competition is being held with the participation of students from 58 public and private schools and talented people to qualify them and enhance their skills to produce outstanding projects in the robot industry, the basis and primary goal of which is to serve the nation and achieve sustainable development. The competition is divided into several categories. In the first category, students build and program a robot to perform specific tasks. In the second category, students build and program a robot to perform specific mathematical tasks. And in the third category, each participating team prepares a project that serves the Olympic theme of the year, which is the Allies of the Earth, and employs a robot in it. The progress of robotics is a result of the remarkable development in other fields of science and technology, as the emergence of big data science contributed to providing robotic systems with high efficiency that was not possible in the past, which led to building a generation of robots that can be used in all areas of life.